by now you may have worked out I have a slight issue with the audio. It turns out if the switch on the back of the mic gets between these two options, it chooses neither. So the first minute or so of this video, you're going to have to listen to me narrate. Anyway, you join me today on my own covering the Cranley branch line. From here, it crosses Hospital and its abandoned platforms up to Guildford. Rebecca is off gallivanting with 50% of the All The Stations team. I'll leave you to guess which half of that team. So, welcome to Every Tissue Station number 22. My first task today was to get to those platforms, but it seemed my luck was out, as this section of the cycle route number 22 was closed today for repairs. So, let's head on up to Slimfold and see what else we can find along the line. So complete failure to get to the Christ Hospital platforms uh, on the Cranley branch. But you now find me on my way to um, Slinford, Slinford station. Um, so I actually thought that there were remnants left, but I think this is the spot. Um, industrial site there, um, main road right ahead of me there. Bus, bridge. Um, but I can't see anything, no signs or anything. And I carry on searching this way. So absolutely no sign of um, Slimford, which I, th I thought there was. So although I've monumentally missed it or miscalculated it. So no sign of um, Slimford Station. Um, I may have monumentally missed it, but I'm going to claim there's a tick anyway. Um, because I'm sure it's south of the um, bridge, or south of that road, but um, no sign of it whatsoever. So, just south of Rudwick Station now, um, and I'm heading south in that vain hope to find um, Rudwick Bridge, because it tells a really interesting story. But I've got a horrible feeling uh, we're not going to make it there, because I think, as per that sign, um, they're doing some works, and then maybe that, that sort of stretch of line is closed. Okay, no go. Um, let you into a little secret. I wrote a whole script based on the Rudwick Bridge, um, the double bridge, and the story behind it, um, and the quirkiness of it, because I thought I'd make a nice little short, punchy five minute video, um, but I can't get to it. So I've just wasted a whole script writing session, a whole search for it. Um, they've got some huge, great fencing up, so really no chance of getting there whatsoever. Whilst I'm on my way to Baynard, I think it's Baynard, Baynard Tunnel, I'll tell you the story of Rudwick Bridge and why it was um, double height or double, double bridged, is that the right word? So essentially, when the line was built, um, Frederick Bannister, who was chief engineer at the time of the um, <clears throat> London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, or at least this line, um, said in May, May the 3rd, May the 5th, the line was ready. Um, the Board of Trade came along and expected it. Um, and, oh, what's his name, somebody, Yolland, um, who was a bit of a hero at the time because he campaigned for better railway safety. Um, he came along and said, actually, all good, apart from Rudwick Station. Rudwick Station was, um, at the time, 1 in 80, and he deemed that too steep. Um, so he can campaign, he said, it needs to be 1 in 300. So the station was delayed. Um, opening, whilst all the others are opened on the line, Rodwick opened a month later because of the redeemable works it needed doing. Those redeemable works levelled out the um, track bed to 1 in 130 and subsequently they needed to raise the bridge by about 10 feet. So rather than sort of demolishing the bridge, they literally raised the embankments either side and placed the steel bridge that you see um, there now. Rodwick, one kilometre that way, back where I've come from. 
uh, Baynard, probably another half kilometer up ahead, but first, um, Baynard Tunnel. We've taken pictures inside the tunnels this time of year it tends to be really really misty or foggy or whatever and the torch <clears throat> being so bright lights up every little rain droplet or mist droplet so it becomes very difficult to take a picture of the actual tunnel walls itself but nevertheless we'll see what um they came out like when we get home Baynard tunnel tick So we're walking up to Baynard Station, which I think is our private residence. Let's do a quick bit of history about the line. So, at the time, let's say 1840s, London South Western Railway had built their line down to Southampton, from all the way down to Southampton. Main line, straight to Southampton Port, very important for territory. They'd also built off of that line a branch down to Guildford. So, the Guildford branch was extending further south. Got as far as Godalming, further on, and plans to get to Portsmouth, I believe. In steps, the Guildford and Horsham Direct Railway, um, carefully watched over by London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, who eventually took over, um, with concerns about territory, because at the time, Shoreham, Shoreham by Sea, had a port. And again, that was strategically very important for territory, and obviously for business and survival. The end result was, London, Brighton and South Coast Railway took over the Horsham and Guildford Direct Railway, um, and ran trains along this part of the line. They were forever, at least until grouping, um, arguing about access to Guildford, which was obviously predominantly run by London South Western Railway. Um, so that is why this line was built, basically for shore and by sea, and its strategic importance. So we're now coming up to um, Baynard's Holt, and we shall have a nose. is the um, very, very beautiful Baynard's station. Um, restored between now and 30 years ago by the current owners who purchased it 30 years ago when it was in quite a derelict state. Um, but this station was only open because of a local reverend who paid the company or gave the company his land at a reduced rate in order that they would put a station here. Um, anyway, um, next stop I think is Cranley. Um, Cranley, original, originally spelt C-R-A-N-L-E-Y, um, changed within two or three years because of the confusion with Crawley. Um, probably also, may not be the case, but probably also on London, Brighton and South Coast Railway originally, at least before grouping. Um, not sure. Okay, so this is the last stop on the line today. Um, Bramley and Woonersh, originally called Bramley. They added the Woonersh um, 23 years later in 1888. Um, originally single track, added a second platform, second uh, loop line in 1876. Um, also interesting here, there was a um, incident in the Second World War when a train, I think heading north out of here, was bombed. Or they went to bomb the line, they hit the train. Um, Christmas shoppers 
uh, 16th of December, I think, or thereabouts, and killed 16 people. So there is a little bit of history here, and really nice to see it's quite well preserved, um, as is much of the line, because obviously it's cycle route number 22. That is pretty much us today. We're gonna, or I'm going to walk a little bit further on the line to see if there's anything else to see. Um, but that's been a relatively short, but interesting every disuse station. Uh, back next week with another video, obviously. Like, subscribe, comment, always leave a comment. Um, ask where we're going, what we're doing, um, and obviously give us some recommendations. But for the time being, thanks for watching, and we will uh, see you next time.